Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars Align Darko YouTube channel. I'm the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here. And we're going to see what message needs to come out. Now, we are looking at a potential surrender message as we have the what you need to surrender cards out here. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure you stay to the very end as uh, this could be a message that is going to come through that could change your entire life all right now as a reminder my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature they may or may not resonate for everybody so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos thank you so so much it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also want to give a huge shout out to all the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right. So some of you may have seen the community tab. Um, if you haven't seen the community tab, there's been a lot that's been on the community tab, but this one specific that special announcement is that I did start a second channel. Uh, it's still very much in the infancy stage. I am or did just or what have you upload a, a new reading. There's a welcome video and a new reading or a new message on there. I'm not sure what that channel is going to be like just yet or what it's all going to entail. If it's just going to be kind of... Um, collective readings if it's going to be pick a cards if it's going to have nothing to do with that so uh but subscribe go ahead and go check it out subscribe let's do it together figure it out together it's just like i said in that um video that i just either recorded or uploaded or is live i don't know where it's going to be at the time that this one comes out but um it's like a brand new baby right even if i already have a child or a baby, meaning this stars aligned Oracle channel, um, that is like a brand new baby that I am bringing home that I am learning how to do all over again. So, uh, if you want to be there from the very beginning, we do currently at the time of recording this have a one subscriber. Hello. I'm sure you probably came from this channel. Uh, super, super thankful for you to be the, one of the founding subscribers over there. Um, yeah, super exciting, but go ahead and subscribe. I'll leave a link um, or the handle, the handle is at that wild spark. That is it. Let me show you the sign here in case you, oh, it's going to move. It is that wild spark. That is the other channel name. Okay. Uh, so you should be able to do at that wild spark and find it. Um, if not, you can always go to the community tab here on this channel. And I did post a post with that and you can just hit that link and you can go subscribe there so ah, subscribe all right i'm super super excited uh it's currently looking a, a lot like this but it's not going to i have stuff on order it just when this third anniversary came through if you've been on the channel for a minute you probably know that i have been saying that i was going waiting until 10,000 subscribers and i had been we're not quite there yet but the the um the push I guess it wasn't even just a nudge. It was a push was there to start it for this channel's third anniversary so that they have the same anniversary date, which is March 8th. Um, and so I did. So, uh, was I actually ready? No. Have I been talking about it for a long time, planning a lot of things? Yes. And then when it was time to take the leap, feel like I wasn't very prepared. <laughs> so we're going to do it together. But you know what? The other thing was, I always tell you guys on this channel that um, if you're feeling that nudge, if you write, take the action, take the action, let it unfold, do what those, um, um, what are they called? The intuitive like um, hits or whatever that you get, follow those, take action on them. And so for me, it wouldn't have been very, viable or, or what, right? I wouldn't have been walking my talk that I say here if I wouldn't have done it. And so that's why, okay? Let's get, let's get into this reading here. I apologize for that long start, but do check out that wild spark. You are the wild ones over on that channel, the lucky stars on this channel. And I'm getting into this idea of doing it. It's still very, um, the videos are kind of shorter because I have to um, kind of do a few things to get a little bit longer, at least from my understanding from just starting it. But um, yeah, go ahead, go check it out. We'd love to have you as a subscriber, to have you over there. And if you haven't subscribed to this one, subscribe to this one also, if you've been called, okay? Let's check this out. Your overall 
energy or influence what you need to surrender okay is surrender your need to always be right oh getting called out there oh that hurt a little it's hurting a little here okay surrender your need to always be right so this is the influence that's coming through for you for this reading here Ooh. Mm little rough a little rough it says give others the gift of letting them be right be yielding not rigid that means flexible it doesn't always have to it's not always your way or the highway or what have you right let things unfold listen to what other people have to see and even if you don't agree even if you feel like they're wrong we don't always have to be like oh you're wrong or start pointing fingers and be like no i don't agree with that we can sometimes that's how we can get different perspectives that's how we can get different understandings that's how we can get new learnings right um is by hearing other people out maybe go and uh even watch a show or videos or even some political stuff dare i say which i don't ever bring on here that is opposite from what you believe Okay. It might open or expand your horizons, whether you decide to believe in or even whether you trust her or not. It's just an, an exercise to um, open up and allow for different perspectives or different ideas maybe to come through. Okay. Um, it says this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. So if you're having a hard time with relationships, if that is what the actual overall energy is that's coming through here for some of you. Okay. It's because it's time for you to surrender. I know I can feel this one. This, Like I said, this feels like a, could almost feel like a personal attack because we all do this. We get so stuck in our thoughts and our ways and our opinions and our beliefs um, that we can really, really have a difficult time seeing anything other than that. Also, we can get into a space or a place of confirmation bias where we are only seeking out or looking at or hearing or seeing um, the stuff that actually goes with our own thoughts and beliefs and values and morals. That's why I said sometimes, it, you know, seek out or search out people that are opposite, think differently and or um, publications or um, videos or shows or what have you that might be the opposite. It helps to expand your horizon and it helps to open up a perspective. You don't have to agree, but you also don't have to get nasty. Okay. That is... <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Mic drop kind of right there. All right. Um, so that is your overall energy. What is your fear? Let's go ahead and take a look. What is your fear within needing to be right? For some of you, that fear is losing control. Even before we get any cards out here. Um, if you, you feel like you're losing control or you feel like you can't control a narrative, that scares the holy living shit out of you. And that's where your fear is coming in. That's even without a card coming through. Um, and you know, I have been in that position and I've known a lot of people in that position. It can be very difficult, but it also feels really actually scary, like not even pretending, right? It can feel very fearful and you've got the six of buttons. So the six of pentacles coming through here with that, um, your fear is this energy of other people kind of the sharing, this generosity, but the fear that's coming through with that, with that six of pentacles is an energy of other people not thinking the same as you or your friend group or the people that you rely on or the people in your family whatever it is not thinking the same and that's coming through as a fear because where there's that generous energy that sharing energy you're afraid that if other people don't see the way that you do or that if you're wrong that they're not going to be around that you're potentially going to be abandoned within that because if you have very strong ideas or beliefs or if you always need to be right in certain instances and people kind of are quote unquote um followers within that or around you or behind you within that here um you could have a very real fear that there may be an energy where that sharing or that generosity or that com camaraderie or that um kind of community could go away if they are seeing other people um, that might also have some what right ideas or beliefs, right? Um, or it could be that somebody else, you, it's almost this energy of just needing to control that you might lose them. That is where that fear is coming through, okay? Very interesting, okay? Now, again, the next one, uh, this next card is what might I lose? Ooh, we got two cards out here. What might I lose? by staying in this fear and you have 
the higher font and justice so authority is what you might lose by staying in the sphere but you also that's that's that still is within that um within that aspect of control you're afraid that your life will become um unbalanced you're afraid that you're going to lose right what might i lose by staying in the sphere you're afraid that you're going to um or by having the sphere by whatever whichever way it comes through for you but you're going to potentially that authority you're afraid that that um you're going to lose authority you're afraid that you're the, like this cause and effect but this is what you're going to lose you feel like you have a feel a power uh you feel like you're in a place of authority or a place of power by holding on or always needing to be right, a place of control, okay? But by staying in it, there's this cause and effect. There's a potential that over time, whatever it is that you have built up or that um, community or that um, control, whatever it may be specifically for you, it's actually going to cause exactly what you fear to come to fruition. Okay, so by staying within this, it's going to create exactly what you fear to come through to happen. Okay, so really, really think about that. Um, really, really think about it. Okay, what do you gain by staying in this fear? We've got three out here. You've got the seven of matches, which is the seven of wands. You've got the six of cups and you've got the eight of swords coming through her eight of needles, six of cups, seven of matches. Okay. So what do you gain by staying in this fear? There's an energy of conviction coming through with that seven of wands. It's as if you're like, okay, well, I'm going to protect everything. I'm going to stay in control. And as long as I do, right, um, then I am in a place with that six of cups of really kind of, um, it's as if you're holding on to the past, right? Uh, with that six of cups it's as if you are like um, in this state of reminiscing when things were good or better or great or when other people even more people thought the way that you did or or held on to an idea of you being right or allowed for you to be kind of in control in one way or another okay but it does lead to a space with that eight of um, swords or that eight of needles a feeling as if you're a, a victim or imprisoned okay that is what you are going to gain by staying in the sphere it doesn't feel very good it's not very uplifting it doesn't feel very good but you'll get to hold on to kind of that energy but but you're going to feel like a victim okay now it's very telling that you have one card two cards three cards out okay one cards, two cards, three cards out. That's very, it's very much going within a um, natural progression or pattern, okay? Now let's see. What will you gain if you move out of this energy? I'm up to two. Yeah, you got the queen of cups. And you've got the two of needles or the two of swords. So see, some of you are at an impasse. You're, you need to make a decision. What you're going to gain is you're going to gain um, an energy of feeling as if the whole world's on on your shoulders, feeling like you don't have to hold your breath all the time with that queen of cups, right? Feeling as if you can, and this is if you move out of this, right? What will you gain if you move out of this energy? Um, you're going to gain an energy of feeling more at home within yourself once you of course it's scary in the beginning but once you get over it uh, or over on the other side there's going to be an energy of, of um, grace there's going to be an energy of being able to exhale it's like you, when you feel like you have to be right or in control all of the time it's like you can feel your hair going gray <laughs> i mean it's like you always have to be on pins and needles right got the needles right here it's like you always have to be on pins and needles and you always have to hold your breath but once you um once you are ready to move out of this this is what you're going to gain you get that comfort you get that energy and you get to make a new decision okay you get to be more flexible you get to be open-minded or more open-minded or allow for open-mindedness to come through and you really you get to foster and cultivate deeper and more um true relationship types okay deeper and more true relationship types it's very interesting okay now let's see 
what is the advice or the action? The universe. Interesting. I've never gotten this card in this deck. This, this, this specific deck has extra cards in it. So I've never gotten this one. So your advice or your action is coming through as the universe. What do you get by um, moving out of this? Or what is the advice or action once you do? Or is it safe for you to, right? We could come through a lot of, of different things here, but is it safe for you to move out of this energy to allow for others to be right, to be more flexible, to look at other perspectives, to uh, let go of the kind of closed fist and let kind of some of that control go. Because, you know, um, uh, interestingly enough, there's a lot of things that we can kind of manipulate to the way that we want uh, within manifestation, within growing, within, um, you know, kind of what we do want showing up. But when we hold things with an iron fist, uh, and we tend to push away or repel. So um, this this is coming through as a very big, yes, it is safe for you to let this go. Now look at, again, I want to show you this pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me move this down just a touch. Sorry that my hand is in there. I don't want to move it down too much. But here we are. You got one, two, three, three, two, one. Okay. Right? So it's like it's it's moving up one, two, three, almost like it's escalating. Okay? Within this you always wanting to be right. It's like it's escalating with that, uh, even with the seven of matches or the seven of wands on top where it's like conviction and and you know, you you have to be and protect yourself and hold on to that control kind of on the top of that three there. Um, it's like it's escalating. And then as you move through this area of letting go of this, it goes back from three to two to one like it's de-escalating and but this is your advice this is is this answer to if it's safe or not this is this advice of or this energy of, of if you you know let go and what you will gain it's the universe so this is a yes it is safe for you to do this but it's the infinite growth couldn't make it up if I tried my drop again right here right goosebumps this is, yes, your advice and action is let it go. Yes, let it go. And you will receive infinite growth. Okay? I mean, um, evolution, opening of possibilities. It just, it, I mean, it couldn't be any clearer. You don't always have to be right. Surrender that need to always be right. And you will gain the whole universe's support. That You always have it, but the whole universe is, is backing you, is lifting you up, is really, um, you know, nurturing and fostering this energy for you to have, to be safe in letting this go, for you to be able to gain infinite growth, right? Infinite growth. You're gaining the whole universe. Right now, it's as if you're keeping things very small, very narrow um, by needing to control or um, needing to always be right or being unyielding or being so closed off. But when you let that go, when you release that, right, you resolve conflicts, you improve relationships, and you receive that whole support of the universe and that infinite growth, that, that opening of possibilities, that evolution, that, that new perspective, that understanding that even if some things, no matter what you don't or can't agree with, it doesn't mean that you need to or that, that you need to make other people wrong or that they're wrong, right? this really could open up so many possibilities for you. And again, like I said at the beginning, I felt attacked as well. It was like this mic drop moment, like, oh, can I even breathe, right? But you get all of this in return when you kind of let that rigidity go, all right? Ooh, beautiful. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit that subscribe button right down there below. And um, it is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. And if you haven't already checked out, <coughs> excuse me, my second channel, it is again that wild spark. Of course, you are the wild ones in that second channel. We are all the wild ones and we have that potential to relearn, unlearn, relearn, and get 
get our wild bag that's part of that over there so if you haven't checked that second channel out go ahead and check it out you can go to at that wild spark or check on the community tab um, maybe i'll share it again so it'll be right at the top when this comes out and you can just hit the link at that wild spark and it'll take you right to it and subscribe over there as well love to have you on both channels as always i do wish you lots of hope lots of joy and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors i'll see you in the next reading